Hello and welcome back to the free to play experience. Um, now we have already reached season three of the rank ladder. Um, I didn't end up playing a lot on this account towards the end of the season for a couple of reasons. One, there was the disconnecting bug that was going around, but the ha that has been fixed as of now. And also, I was quite badly tryharding my main account to reach top ten. Uh, and as you can see from the last video I posted, I just about managed that. But We've got more time now, so we're going to see how high we can get this free-to-play account. Uh, I've already got up to Silver 25, so we didn't have to uh, see climbing the uh, Bronze ranks. So we have got the same Hopes and Sustain deck that we had before, and we're going to jump into it. I'm going to put a link to the deck list in the description below, because I know quite a few people have been asking for that. So I'll make sure I put that in on this video. Okay, our first match is against Icolo. Uh, a level silver 23 Ozan. Uh, we're looking for some early AP gain, so we've got KGP, which is brilliant. I think we're mulliganing away everything else. Okay. This is interesting. Now we're going first, so I'm, I'm tempted to play KGP Knoom. There's a few different ways we can do this. We can either go KGP, KGP, Knum, Dagonoth. And we've got 5 AP. We can one hit anything, but we'll have no cards. Or we go, go Knum, Dagonoth, KGP, Calphite Emissary. And we try and hit a weapon if he tries to equip one here. That way we only discard one card. Hopefully it's the alley, so we've still got the KGP. Yeah, that seems like a good play. Okay, the Black Marketeer is not going to do anything. It is an aggro Zan. The uh, signposted by the Black Marketeer. Okay, he's stealing gold from me as well. Alright, so 23 health. Gained a base attack, which is a good start. We could do with a ho uh, Hope Devourer in this matchup. We can put him down to one base attack, then we're looking good. Bob the Cat. Okay, so he's just going to take a strike off me, uh, basically, because uh, I have no gold to give him. So he's literally just paid one gold to be hit in the face for four damage. Seems good. Okay, well we did discard our other KGP, so that's not the best. Can afford a Nastroth here though. Although I'm tempted just to play the alley, so it gives us the option to heal if we if we have to. I don't really lose out by not playing the Nastroth here. I don't think he's going to steal any base attack or anything. It doesn't look like he's going to have a Hope Devourer. So we'll just play with the alley. Okay, yeah, it is an aggro Zan. Definitely. So I could do drawing some heals here. I win the way we win this fight is getting to, uh, surviving to the final fight. Excellent, he's given us more gold. So we can definitely afford the Nastroth as well as something else. Oh no, he's stealing three three of it back. Interesting. He is taking a lot of damage though. We could do with some useful card draw here. Okay, right, we play the Adamant Armor. Card draw. And a Nastroth, I think. Or do we bother with the Nastroth? No, we want to keep the gold uh, for if we draw some heals. We need to be able to afford the Rumleys and the Adamant Armors. Okay, so that armor is going to absorb the scorpion hit. Then he's gaining temporary attack. This will probably be into something like a skeleton warrior. There's a Romilly, which is good. Also got a bar fight if he carries over a weapon. There's a skeleton champion. Okay, this is a lot of damage coming in now. Into a Ketzet. There we go. That's the classic combo. 
Okay, so I've got to expect he's going to be he's going to have a lot of damage now. He's got six cards. He hasn't played any desert snakes yet. So, I've got to assume he's got them. Okay, so we go Jubbly Bird first. Then into Rummily. Is it too I think it's too risky to play the Hope Devourer. I don't think I think bar fight, bar fight. Oh, hang on, let's think about this. We do that heal first, then bar fight in case he gets the weapon. Bar fight again, and then dribbly. We should be okay. Okay, so I have st I have nicked one a weapon off him. Good job. I didn't try and spend the gold on anything. So he's got a lot of gold grief in this deck. Okay, he's tanking 6 damage from the Troll Trigger, which is good. I am going to be very low though here. Oh, I think he wins here. This is a Ketzek, he wins. Or is it a Skelly Champion? I'm okay. It's a Ketzek. Oh no, I'm on 1 HP. I'm on 1 HP. Okay, 1 HP against 2 HP and 2 armor. Oh baby, this is close. Going into chapter 5. Now, I've got to have something useful here. I, I, need, a, I need a Romilly. There's a Romilly. There's no point even thinking about those. Romilly, armor. And let's hope he gives me some gold. Play that, so if he gives us three gold, which he might, because uh, he can only give us two, I think, can't he? There's a more value in doing that. I don't think he's going to be running any heals in his deck. So I've just got to survive. Let's go for the D-Long. Here we go. Okay, he's gaining base attack. Into a South Sea Pillager. Oh, I've spent the gold before he tries to steal it, which is good. Could it be that because I get the first strike off here, I'm okay? Okay, so the Dragon Longsword I'm not going to get, but I only need to strike him once. Snapshot, and I win because that's only 4 damage. Ooh, that was a close game. Now normally, Hopesan does do very well against Agrozan, but because I don't quite have all the sustain I want in this deck yet, uh, that's why it's a little bit closer. Get in there towards our free pack, which is good. And up to rank 24! Collect all our quests. And here we go again. Straight back into rank with the same deck. We're against a Linzer. That's Max Lotus. Now this is... This is difficult to try and predict now. Is it likely that there's going to be Grief Linzer down in silver? Or is it going to be a Weapon Linzer? Let's see what we can draw here. Right, we need some early AP. We need some AP gain. So we'll keep the Canoe, because that gives us some reach. Oh, there. Thank God for that. So we've got Canoe. Into Sentinel. To. I'm just going to assume this isn't grief. It, it can't be grief, surely. I'm going first, so that will be fine. I think we go. We go KGP. Got to go KGP, haven't we? And throw some armor down. Okay, looks like weapon. 
So it's not ideal giving him gold, but I've got to get started. It was, and I thought it was too risky going for Slime Toes against Alinza, who's got a lot of weapon removal. Okay, double White Wolf. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Taking 10 damage by choice. And a, and a Mimic? Oh, wow, this is a lot of damage that she's taken. Well, I think we can safely say it is Weapon Lenser. Oh, wow. White Wolf, White Wolf, Mimic, Mimic. 20 damage by choice. Oh. I could do with a couple of bar fights here. Because there's a big pulverize on its way. She's, yeah, drawn. She's got full hand now, max hand. Since she's drawn these three cards, so there's no way she hasn't got something useful. This is going to take some surviving. Alright, we'll carry that over. Can't afford the Romley, so we'll just heal. That's not ideal. Saradom in Godsword, there's the weapon. If I'd have drawn one of our fights, I could have punished that. I could do with a little bit more card draw in this deck, I've got to be honest. Into a barrel chest, so it's now a 9-3. Into a minor ancestor, so it's now a 9-4. Yeah, bar fight would have won me this. Armadillion Golem, that's how he gets his sustain going. Because that's 12 armor. I need to get rid of this weapon. Calfight Emissary, that's what I need. I'll take a hit off it. So cover M or Bar Fight. I've got three cards that I need one of them I need to draw. And then I should win this. Cause he's gone over with only three durability on a weapon. Unless he is trying to bait it out and he's gonna go ahead and buy a new one. Of course I don't draw it. Right, we go Sentinel for more AP. Or do we? We go White Wolf Sentinel. Carry the Slime Toes over. Put a heal down because he's probably going to do some sort of damage. Yep. He's now got a 9 6 and it's way out of range of Weapon Grief. Ah, I just haven't drawn what I need. That's so annoying. Now it's a 12-6. Oh baby, there's some big damage coming down here. Adamant Dragon gained weapon durability equal to rival's gold, so he's only gaining one weapon durability. So actually it's a net it's all all that card is in the end is a three armor gain. Minor ancestor, so he's now got a twelve seven. I just gotta hope he doesn't draw his pulverizers. That's my win condition here. 12-7. Oh, wow. I can't get rid of that weapon. I think this is GG. I can't stop this. See what we can draw here. Still okay. We've got Hope Devourer into a White Wolf. Into it. Uh, job. No, we'll go Jubbly Bird first, then White Wolf. There's not a lot we can do here. We just we still haven't drawn any weapon removal, and there is plenty in the deck. I just kind of got to hope I get to the final fight and I can kill him in three slots. Okay, 15-7 weapon. Oh, this isn't good. Pulverize kills me now. 
Helgear, so he's striking me for 18. Jesus Christ. Into a Cully. Okay, so now... It, I've got the Calfa Emissary, so if he doesn't kill me here... I can potentially... Mess him up a little bit if he tries to buff it again. Okay, it's a 17-4. I can make it a 17-3. I've got to try and get rid of that weapon. Problem is, he can't, if he has drawn Pulverize, he wins. There we go, Calfa Emissary, into Bar Fight. Into Romilly, into KGP. Into KGP? Into KGP. If he, draws, if he draws any sort of damage in the first slot, he wins. If not, I think I win. I'm hoping he tries to buff that weapon even further. Get greedy. Nope, there's the pulverize. That's annoying. I drew all my weapon grief too late. Otherwise, that would have been an easy win. 34 damage pulverized. Now that is why that card is broken. Okay, so let's. Could do with something. No, we, all we need in, in the deck is a little bit more card draw. Let's see if we can add anything else. Uh, ten. Yeah, we need another Crassian. Can we afford it? We have enough shards. Yep, we're crafting another Crassian. We need some card, card draw. Right, what do we take out? I want to keep the deck at 30 cards. I think it's probably going to be a Jubbly Bird. Or a Nastroth. Let's take out a Jubbly Bird. I don't really do a lot in the deck anyway. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that little bit more card draw will just help us counter uh, different decks that we come across. Okay, so we get Desmond. He's a bronze six. Ozan. Uh, no idea what this guy's going to be running. He looks like he's brand new to the game. Ah, there's the Calfight Emissary. And a bar fight. So we've drawn all of our weapon removal. Brilliant. It's one game too late. Right, here we go. I think... Keep the bar fight. Keep that. We hard mulligan for early AP gain here. It's, it's too risky trying to keep them and not drawing what we need. Okay, that worked. <laughs> right. Put a bar fight there. Go slime toes into Crassian. Do we or do we? Just tank the Crassian. Man up and tank the Crassian. Yeah, I think we man up and tank the Crassian. And into Jubbly. Into Romilly. Yep, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so Ali first, so it doesn't give us any clues into what he's playing. Apart from it's probably not Hope Zan. Unless it's an early version of it. Pyramid Plunder. Oh, if this is Gold Zan, I'm going to cry. Okay, the good thing is that we can use that gold for some useful things. Oh, the bar fight strikes! By your Saradamin God Sword. Now, what were you hoping to kill? Lady Kelly. Oh. That's 24 damage you weren't expecting. Right then. The dead shot will be coming out straight away because that's seven that's seven easy damage. And I've got to think about I've got to be aware of the dazing shot. Okay. More weapon removal here, so that's good. 
Looks like this is going to be quite a weapon focused deck. And he has got gold. We might be able to buy one. I'm, I'm going to. I think I'm definitely going to play another bar fight here. Okie dokie. Play KGP to get going. Um, we will play Adam and Armor because why not? Into a bar fight there. We'll try and hit it again. That will do for now. Hopefully, it gives us it gives us some more gold and gives us more options. There's the dead shot. Okay, don't mind discarding one of those in this matchup. Just need to survive. Dazing shot misses, which is good. Looks like the bar fight's not going to hit anything because he did just concentrate on those spe uh, cards that Lady Kelly gave him. Oh, double dazing shot. Oh, and he's conceded. Yeah, obviously he had nothing else. He had to hope that card hit. And it didn't. Okay, so we're back up to rank 24. Straight back into it with Hopes on again. And we're against Kandar, who is a silver rank 13. Running Ariane. Now, I don't know how this deck does against Ariane since the nerfs. One way to find out. Not sure there's enough sustain in this. Okay. Right, I don't think the bar fight's going to be useful in this matchup. I don't think the D-Long is. The Edmund Armour could be. We'll go with, we'll go with the Simtos. We've got the Reacher with the Knoom. Okay. Right, as long as he doesn't play a Penguin Sheep first slot, I'm going to steal a base attack. What do we... Oh, do we, do we risk delaying it to get a cleaner kill? No, we do it early. And heal. And I don't want to discard anything, so we will bar fight. Okay, excellent. The stealing one base stack is going to be useful. So I doubt it's going to be a one attack Ariane we're against. Obviously it's not ideal tanking this much damage against an Ariane, but... but Oh, enfeeble into what? See enfeebling that early. And have I just lost the game? A little bit scared now. Scarface Pete? Okay, well, I've, I'm discarding a couple of cards here. That's interesting. Buy KGP and buy Adamant Armor. Both cards I could have done with, I think. Hmm, now I'm I'm preying on the draws here. But hopefully being put down to one base stack has kind of slowed him down a little bit. Still on 25 effective health, so that's good. Ah, right, that's a bug. That bug is being f should have been fixed by now. Okay, so we'll ignore those two cards for now, because we know they're not there. Okay, so we haven't got the KGP or the Adamant Armor. We'll keep the Cal for Emissary. Put a bar fight down. Oh, we've got to remember we haven't got those two cards. Okay, so he's slowed down. Because he's on one base stack, so hopefully that has bricked him a little. Right, you can see on the bottom left. There we go. That's cleared it. That's cleared it up. So my card, my hand is right now. It's only, it's only a little bit of a bug there. Okay. Right, the Crassian is huge. I think that's all we do. There's no point equipping the weapon because we've got nothing to kill with it. He's got any. Our Archmages, they're not going to hit anything, because I'm playing the Crashing early. So yeah, I like this turn. He's not going to randomly pull another Scarface Pete out of uh, somewhere again. And he's conceded, yep. Being put down to one base stack so early has kind of crippled him, because he hasn't gained uh, drawn what he needed. Okay. Um, 
So we're up to rank 23. Right, let's try and get this uh, win streak going at the end of the episode. It's Rockaxe, who is a silver 25. Vanescular player, who ended up in the silver last, last season. Tell from his uh, tags, the titles. Right then, what are we doing? Bar fight could be useful. Knoom is very useful. Okay, we've got to start. So we'll get rid of that for now. We'll get, keep the adamant armor. We need a little bit of sustain because we are going to tank a little bit of damage here. Oh, baby. I'm so tempted to hope devour. Knoom, hope devour, adamant armor, adamant armor. Seems like a decent start to me. Now this is this kind of start that I wouldn't be able to do after the nerfs come in, or the proposed nerfs, because uh, Hope Devourer sh may be losing that armor reward, which I think is right. So yeah, let's go for this. Play it quickly, see if we can put some pressure on our opponent. It's never best giving gold to a Venescula. Uh, Needs must. We've got to get. We've got to get started. Oh, what is that? What has he just cave slimed into? I can't tell. Where's the opponent? Oh, that's very nice. Into Criara. Although he's now taking twenty-eight damage from it. Oh wow, that is risky. He's going. In, he must be going into some sort of battle with me after this. I've, this is the first time. I've got to be honest. I've seen a Criara played in uh, in ranked. So plenty of points for originality. Under Dragon, and he loses to the Under Dragon. So that's a nice win. That's a, such a risky chapter from him. There, it's got you can't afford to be that risky when you don't know what you're coming up against. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, and after that quick one, we've now got our win streak going. So we're up to rank 21. So if we can keep that going in the next episode, we'll start climbing the ranks really quickly. Uh, so yeah, that ends this episode for now, and uh, I'll see you next time.